In last week's episode, we were able to finish some quests as well as complete the angler outfit from the fishing trawler minigame. We left off at Tempras trying to complete our spirit angler set and also as well as training our fishing and cooking to 70. We focus on preparing our account on eventually getting some of our first untradeable gear like the graceful set, dragon defender, and slayer helmet. That's 70 kills at Tempras, another 10kc down. Let's see what we get from this reward pool. Not lucky, no pet, no harpoon. We got an easy clue scroll and a hard clue scroll, okay. And we just turned our angler top into a spread angler top. We have one more to go and that's our hat. But we're looking so good right now. That's 20 construction done. So glad I did that quest. And that's another 10 kills at Tempras. The lead gets us to 80 kills here. Oh, we got seven chests, a duplicate fishing tackle, and five more soaked pages. We'll definitely get our spirit flakes enough on the next 10 kills for sure. Let's open these bad boys up. All right, not too bad. High and salty, we got another duplicate. I think this is like our third time getting that fishing tackle. That's 90 kills at Temporas, another 10. See what we get. Hopefully something good. Wow, I don't even know what to say, dude. We're getting trolled hard right now. We have an ungodly amount of bait, too. What do we have? We have 13,000 bait, man. What am I going to do with all this? Let's get our spurt in piece, and we can finally save some space. And that's the spirit angler headband. We finally have a full set. We got 70 fishing, we finally got it. We're 1,021 total levels. We've also leveled up construction by a lot. All right, that's 100 KC done. We're going to leave with a bunch of buckets, so we don't need to grab some more when I come back later. Oh my god, a fish barrel. Let's go. Let's go. We got something. We got something new. Uh, we end Temporos with how many... In our collection log, we have 8 of the 12 from the collection log. From 622 permits, 100 kills. I guess that's good. I know some of these are 1 in 400, but the fact that I got the tackle box like 8 different times. Oh my gosh, dude, that, I'm salty about that. I did just miss it because I was just looking at something else, but I did just get 60 cooking. And that's 70 cooking finally done we can we now have all the food that we need to go do slayer and do all the quests the first thing we're going to do now is do the optimal quest guide until death plateau finish animal magnetism so we can get that ava's accumulator that's dwarf cannon done that's 715 crafting xp and now we can use dwarf multi cannon let's get it and that's waterfall quest done 13750 strength xp and attack 63 attack and 54 no 54 attack and 63 strength my bad <laughs> three known village finally done we can now use the spirit trees awesome and we also get 11,000 attack xp from it <laughs> yeah boy he's dancing too that's a monk's friend done that's 2000 woodcutting xp we are truly progressing now, boys. And that's Hazio Cole finally finished. 1500 thieving XP and 2000 coins in the bag. Sheep Herder is done. Four quest points and 3100 coins in the bag. And Murder Mystery is done. 1400 crafting XP and 2000 coins. And with the Excalibur in our inventory, Merlin's Crystal is done. Holy Grail is up next. After teleporting everywhere, we finally completed Holy Grail. 11,000 prayer XP and 15,000 defense. Amazing, dude. And recruitment drive is finished. Got a bunch of experience and a bunch of different things. Prayer, herb lore, and agility. And that's observatory quest done. 2200 crafting XP. 
And Priest in Peril is finally done after two trips of giving him some pure essences. So annoying, but we did it. 1400 Prayer XP, access to Mauritania, Hello Settled, and Wolf Bane Dagger. With that, Nature Spirit is done. 3000 Crafting Speed, 2000 Hit Points, and Defense. And that's Fight Arena done. 12,000 Attack XP and 2100 Thieving XP. We definitely need Attack XP because we need this to get this to 60 so we can start doing Monkey Madness for the Dragon Skimitar. Jungle Potion is done. 775 Herb Lore XP. We saved a bunch of the 17 Herb Lore over there. We saved a bunch of the Snake Weeds, Ardrigal, uh, what is this called? Valencia Moss and Rose Purse for the upcoming quests that require them. And there's a poor scene or poor sign of interest. 1000 Slayer XP, 30 Slayer Reward Points, and the Goggles. And that's Death Plateau done. That's 3000 XP, some Steel Claws, and Ability to Make Claws. Kind of useless far as i remember we can now finally go for animal magnetism and after that that's when we grind agility until 60 and grab a full graceful set and that's animal magnetism done we have our ava's accumulator a thousand crafting fletching and slayer xp as well as 2500 woodcutting xp huge huge gear to get and 33 slayer i just reached 30 agility that's 40 agility that's 50 agility <laughs> i'm a little tired after 951 laps at the cannabis rooftop agility course we're here we finally get level 60 agility and what better way to end it off at 269 marks of grace after this we're getting our graceful set there it is level 60 agility we can now finally start playing the game we're gonna train our slayer until we can get 60 attack we can actually play the game now oh man now we look like we played a game dude now we look like we played a game i'm so happy it looks so good it looks so good oh cool we finished a uh, collection log that's sick i didn't know that was a thing and with that i'm done with lost city three quest points and access to zanars the reason why i want to do this is i finished my task at pyrophines and i wanted to get the next slayer master which was available for me which is chowder or something like that the last slayer master is vanica which you need level 40 combat i'm 75 this is a level 70 minimum combat slayer master so i assumed i would get better monsters and stuff suited for more of my level and probably even better loot as well missed another level but we just got 60 magic literally i feel like i almost missed a lot of levels i just got 40 slayer there's level 60 attack and that's the first part of recipe for disaster done that's lumbridge cook again i just freed the goblin generals that's a thousand farming xp and increased color no answers chest axis <laughs> And that's fairy tale part one growing pains completed two quest points 3500 farming xp 2000 attack xp and 1000 magic xp and that's fishing contest done 2400 fishing xp and access to the white wolf mountain tunnel and giant dwarf is done bunch of xp for a bunch of different things the one i'm really looking at is a 2500 crafting xp because we still do need at least 45 crafting i think for quests so and that's forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf done 5000 farming and cooking xp huge xp drop here we're level 28 farming dude let's go and creature of fenkenstrain is done a thousand thieving xp and the ring of Keros. and with that guardian of tranquility is done took a while because i had to wait for the cabbages and then this part of the garden to finish growing completely but that's 5000 farming xp an activated ring of Keros, and a super compost potion with some seeds this quest plugin i swear just makes it so much easier i mean i remember doing this years ago and i followed the wiki yes it was easy but like this was just brain dead easy that's 4000 fire making xp 3000 and farming 2000 crafting and 1500 wood cutting xp and that's the few done 
15,000 thieving XP in the bag. And Troll Stronghold is done. It gives us the ability to runecraft law runes. All right, let's go see what we get from our beginner casket. Staff of Earth, some shrimps, and some earth runes. <laughs> I mean, really, with these ones, like, all you really have to expect for are, like, uniques, or I guess hope for are uniques. So, didn't really expect to get anything of value from beginner clue scrolls, but I was just hoping for a unique and... The only unique we got was the sandwich lady top. It's hoping for something more too. All right, Cassie just gave us our easy casket. This will definitely be our first one and this will be our first hard too. So let's see what we get. What? <laughs> uh, chaos runes, amulet of magic, studded body. Um, wow, <laughs> definitely not the best for sure. First clue brings us into the wilderness and all that. I'm just not ready into go, going in there just yet. So we're just going to drop this one. And that's big chompy bird hunting done. And that's Zogar flesh eaters done. 2000 herb lore XP and ability to make brutal arrows and realisms balm. And that's the dig site done. 15,000 mine XP and 2000 herb lore XP. Huge XP drop, but we're really looking at the herb lore XP. That's 52 mining from 50 and 24 herb lore. And Shades of Morton is done. That's another 2000 herb lore and crafting XP. And that's 27 herb lore. Now we can finally do Hero's Quest. Hero's Quest is finally done. 29,000 XP, a bunch of what? Spread over 12 skills. We are finally finished with Hero's Quest. We got 28 herbal out of it, 53 mining. So there aren't actually any more quests that I can do that reward herbal experience. So now it's being able to level up to 31 from 28. So that now, now this isn't too bad. This is manageable. This won't kill the bank at all. Definitely way better than having to do it from 18 for sure. And I got a bunch of quests done out of the way. All in all, I think it was definitely worth it. And there's 30 wool. I was about to say 31, but there's 30 herb lore. And that's Edgar's Ruse done. We got 11,000 herb lore XP and the troll on teleport is now available to use. We also got 36 herb lore, huge level. And that's the Grand Tree done. 18,400 attack XP, 7,900 agility, and 2,100 magic XP. Time for Monkey Madness. So there's Monkey Madness 1 done, access to Apatol, 10,000 coins, and we're going to do Darrow's training soon. So we're going to focus on improving attack and defense techniques if I am reading this correctly. Alright, we did it correctly. We did it correctly, I was just kind of worried if we did it. <laughs> But 70 hit points, 62 attack, 55 defense some pretty big levels honestly we can now wear the helm of need is not but let's go get our uh dragon scimitar dude i'm so excited let's go dude let's go let's go let's go there it is there's a dragon scimitar we finally reached the point where we start looking like a badass the one of the i i honestly think in my own opinion obviously that this is the most iconic weapon in the game i really do think so oh man i'm so excited to use it we look so good dude we look so good just finished my task at the pyre fiends we were able to get a level for slayer and defense we just finished our troll task we got 15,000 slayer xp huge we're actually almost 60 defense we can almost start working on a strength and we're almost 50 slayer we need to train agility because if you're looking at the screen right now i am running all the way around this mountain so i can get to konar and if you check this shortcut here needs level 62 agility and i'm at level 16. it's only like 91 laps that's a few, that's a couple hours well, to you guys, it's going to be a couple seconds, but to me, it's going to, it's a few hours. And honestly, it's worth it to be able to have the full shortcut uh, unlocked for me. That's before we unlock this brimstone chest. So let's see what we get. Hopefully something good on our first chest. 
Oh my god, let's go. All right, bet. Yeah, okay, that's a free 100k right here, boys. Free 100k. That's... I am so happy that's our first chest. And after 89 laps and almost 30, I think, almost 30 lap failures, we have finally gotten 62 agility. And there's 60 defense. We are at 1,166 total level. Now we can switch over to strength. And that's our 15th task. We have three brimstone keys to turn it in. Hopefully we get something good out of it. Let's see what we get in these three keys. Oh, more dragon arrow tips. Okay. Room plate legs and magic logs. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that. So we'll just out, out these and we'll go ahead and sell the rest at the Grand Exchange. Other task done at Black Demons. We got 26,000 Slayer XP. We're actually... 97 away from our next level right, let's find out our next task 161 trolls uh that's not too bad it should be pretty easy and quick and we get some monkfish and some diamonds Ooh, not the best loot but i'll just cut these diamonds because i do need crafting xp and we'll probably just sell this up front so it's another task done we got 14,000 slayer xp love fire giant tasks i don't know why but i really do like them see what we get we also got three renar seeds i'm gonna sell these 123k easy and hopefully we get something good here gold or no and that's another slayer task complete another 17,000 slayer xp let's see what we get from our brimstone key steel bars 120k i'm actually surprised these go for 120k for 300 of them but i'm pleasantly surprised let's uh go sell them at the ge we just got 40 farming we're doing our tree and fruit tree runs we finally got 68 strength, so I did get my 400 warrior guild tokens, or I'm gonna get it in 400 increments, and we're gonna get our dragon defender. We just got our first defender, let's go. We are 21 kills in for this defender, so I guess it's under the drop rate, it's 1 in 50. Guys, I f up dude i didn't show the defender to her so i got a second of bronze defender i was like what the f i was so confused i was like no that could have been my iron defender i'm such an idiot dude look at that it's right there staring at me nice we just got a second defender and there's our steel defender at 108 kills there's our black defender this one took a long time to get i had like 600 tokens and we went all the way down at 350 we're at 204 cyclop kills we just got our mithril defender at 222 kills a little bit faster i mean sorry a lot faster than getting this black defender <laughs> this actually didn't take too long it literally took what like four or five kills one one more baby one more bro we we literally only killed like two of these we got the room defender let's go all right now we get to go and grind for the dragon defender we killed a total of 237 cyclops that's not too bad and there's 70 strength we're about 50 kills in in the basement here no dragon defender yet but we were able to get a full level 70 strength we just got it we just got it let's go dragon defender should i high elk it <laughs> No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Our first dragon equipment on at 292 kills. Just a little bit over 50 kills, I think. We were at 237, so yeah, just a little bit over 50 kills. So, not too bad. All right, I decided to do the hard clue scroll in my bank, and we just got the casket. Here's our first reward casket from a hard difficulty clue scroll. Uh, 100k not i guess it's not too bad i did need a lot of i was gonna buy some more and some alcohols not the best but at least it's something towards the cash tag i don't know if this was a thing but you can get a hespori seed from checking the health of your tree 
So I got a collection log out of it too. That's why I kind of like piqued my interest, I guess. I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess it I guess it was. That's pretty cool. I got a Hespori seed. And another task done. 137 black demons, 21,000 slayer XP. We managed to get one level in slayer and range. So now we're at 77 range and 56 slayer. Let's see what our next assignment is. Good fire giants. Those are easy and fast. And let's see what we get in our brimstone. K okay, 278k and some alcohols. And we just got 60 Slayer. I literally almost missed it, but we just got it. And that's Tale of the Righteous done. One quest point, 8,000 coins, 10% favor for Shazian and a memoir page. The reason why I'm doing some Karen stuff is I want to get 100% in all of the different factions here. I just got a Slayer task in the Catacombs of Karen. And I thought it would be a good time now to start getting 100% in all of these. All right, I just got 100 percent favor in shazian and the reason why this is so huge is now i can wear tier 5 shazian armor i just need to go get it and that's the last piece of our shazian armor we have the full tier 5 shazian armor oh, that's our graceful boots and with that quest done queen of fees is done one quest point, 2,000 coins, 2,000 thieving xp, 10% towards piscarilius and a memoir page for my memoir book. And that's 30% Piscarilius. I'm gonna go ahead and get 100% here before we either go with Arceus or Lovakenj. That's 15 Hunter. I needed to get 15 Hunters so it can actually catch Sandworms in Port Piscarilius. And with this last inventory of Sandworms, we are done with Piscarilius. Let's head over to Arceus or Arceus. Arceus, Arceus. I, I keep saying Arceus because I keep thinking about the Pokemon, but I think it's Arceus. And that's Ascent of Arceus done. 2,000 coins, 1,500 Hunter XP and 500 Runecraft XP. And with this last inventory of dark manuscripts, that should give us 100% Arceus favor. That's 51 farming. I can now grow pineapple plants. I think I missed the recording for 50 farming. Um, I am just doing one last tree run using banana saplings and willow saplings. And the reason why I was doing that is because I just had leftover apples and I didn't want to just waste them or just sell them back to the GE. The next things we'll be doing since I'm 51 will be maple tree runs and pineapple tree runs. So we just got 65% favorite in Lovakenj. I did it using the safe spot method using a spider. Did take three hours and I did mine 1,943 volcanic sulfur. Another thing I forgot to mention was you do get gems from this. I did get a couple of sapphire gems, rubies, and emeralds. I didn't see a diamond, but I assume you would get diamonds if you had a higher mining level. I did level my mining by three, so I started at 53 and I made it up to 56 mining. And the Forsaken Tower is done. One quest point, 6,000 coins, 500 mining and smithing XP. And this is the last of our scrolls to give. That should be our 100% favor. Nice. Okay, so now the next thing that we have to do is Architectural Alliance. And that is Architectural Alliance done. Here's the huge statue of King Rada the First. Nope. <laughs> I don't think you can put any antique lambs in a bank, so I guess this just goes straight to smithing. 10,000 smithing XP, that takes us to 46. Okay, here's our beginner casket. I don't remember what number this is, but hopefully we get a unique. Yes, let's go, baby. A monk's rope top trimmed. Let's go. Huge. That's actually huge. Anything to complete the collection log, I'm very happy with. Okay, so I literally thought I pressed the record button, but I did just finish Watchtower Quest. We got 61 magic from it. We've also got, I think, 5,000 coins and four quest points out of it. Finally finished our reward casket. We had a clue in the wilderness, and I actually had to hop once because there was a clan and waiting for me at the black chins that i had the clue at i was a i was hovering my mouse over my logout button so i was totally fine but here's the casket hopefully we get something good purple sweets 
at least we have some alcohols all right we just finished our 145 black demon task we got 23,820 slayer experience from it we did level up once in slayer so we're now at 61 let's see what our task is a baron specters in a stronghold slayer dungeon if you notice we do have a total of 440 four slayer points i'm gonna unlock the ability to craft a slayer helmet now i'm gonna start training my smithing and crafting xp we just got 50 crafting and 55 crafting is done i can now cut dragon stones and make my slayer helm one thing i also didn't realize we just reached a total level of 1250 huge huge level i'm gonna hop over to world 353 oh man there's barely anyone here there is level 50 smithing done. We are officially qualified to start hunting cave horrors for black mask. And we are officially qualified to start making slayer helmets. This one took a little bit, but we're finally done with this one. We are finished with Ghost Ahoy. Two quest points, 2400 prayer XP, an ectophile, and a free entry to port phasmatis this is huge because we're going to be doing rum deal and cabin fever it's going to require us to keep coming in and out of here and rum deal is done 7000 xp in prayer fishing and farming we also have a holy wrench which means it gives us extra prayer points when drinking prayer potions cabin fever is done 7000 smithing crafting in agility xp and we can learn how to talk like a pirate now we have access to finally killing cave horrors and that means black masks and slayer helmets oh my god i just got a black mask i've only killed 32 cave horrors for this for this uh what is I, I i don't even know what to say oh my god i i have to screenshot this 32 kills and we get a black mask this is a one in 500 drop dude one in 512 exactly so we just finished our first 50 kills i'm gonna do another set of 50 kills at cave horror and see if we can get something else all right this is probably gonna be my last kill i managed to get about 63 kills on my oh oh my god oh my god oh my god dude this is my second one i didn't even know this was gonna oh my god 113 kc we get our second black mass this was literally going to be our last kill of the trip oh my we just made 1.68 mil in 113 kills at the cave horrors yeah so 712k nice so that's 712k in the bank we don't need a snapdragon seed so we'll go ahead and sell those Oh, I only got three, actually. I thought I got an extra one, but I guess I didn't. Close. We're 102k away from a mill. That's... Hey, I am not complaining. I'm going to go and craft a Slayer Helm. All right, so it looks like we have everything that we need here. We have the earmuffs. We have the face mask, the nose peg, the spiny helmet, the enchanted gem, the reinforced goggles and now the witchwood icon and the black mask all we have to do is just use them all and there's our slayer helmet we finally look like we we know what we're doing <laughs> all right after teleporting all over the place and drinking every different type of alcohol we have finished the bar crawl and the one or i guess two good things about this is i can now do scorpion catcher and horror from the deep and i could smash my vials every time i drink the last dose and there's horror from the deep done two quest points 4600 strength range and magic xp and a damage book and we can just grab the rest of these i'll eat that real quick and we have every damage book now we have, all we have to do is just collect everything but we should 
be good to go. After 13 days and 8 hours, we made it to level 84. Hello. We made it to 1,256 total levels with a total of 8.9 million experience. We've completed 79 quests and also 79 achievements, collecting over 81 pieces of unique items. We have also have nine combat tasks completed i haven't really been talking about the bonds in the latest part of my episode i had a goal of buying a bond within the two weeks of my first bond and it just could not happen and i don't like making excuses there are a couple things that in hindsight i could have changed and done the first glaring one is the sidetrack like i was being i was getting sidetracked left and right and you definitely could have you definitely could see that in my last two episodes the other thing is i did film this or record this right in December holidays are right next to each other spending time with family just took away from recording and actually playing the game so I wasn't able to put as much time as I really wanted to into making enough money before my bond ran out we did put in three months into this account so I don't have to worry about buying a bond anytime soon but I would like to give a bond to a free-to-play player so I can share what it's like to be a member in runescape it was one of the greatest experiences in my life as a kid the next opportunity i can get to make that money to buy a bond i will be trying to go find a free-to-play player to give that bond to this account has grown pretty well so far i'm very happy with where it's at right now there's only one two three four skills under level 40 i'm definitely very happy with that and the next episode will be focusing on getting the barrows gloves hope to be able to get the fire cape in time we'll also be imbuing the slayer helm and also trying to unlock bosses we've made a lot of unlocks we've gathered a bunch of gear and a bunch of untradeables we look good right now we definitely look like we're definitely playing the game i'm very happy with where we're at with that being said i'm very excited for the next episode and i'm sure you guys are too until then i'll see you guys soon all my friends back home really my friends if we ain't spoke since i was one of them now i'm making fire i ain't getting tired came a long way from starting fires